Okay. We saw a movie. Yeah. All right, so uh, welcome to our new review series where we watch current films. We saw a movie. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Greg and I just saw Cars 3. We did. We saw that. That was the thing we saw. <laughs> that was the thing we saw. It was. Um, I guess we should start with the spoiler free review. Spoiler free. It's good. Yeah, it's a lot better than Cars 2. Definitely a lot better than Cars 2. It's a actually the sequel that Cars 1 kind of deserved. Bruce Campbell didn't die right away. Yeah, the best thing is they didn't murder Bruce Campbell to start yeah. the movie. I mean... I mean, that, that was... That's still the biggest crime, in my opinion, of Cars 2. I think I almost cried. Just, that was the worst. Um, uh, but story-wise, it's, um, it's kind of the... It's a racing story again, so that's great. <gasps> it is right yeah, instead is. of a. It, it's totally instead of it being like the race is a plot is a framing device for a bizarre spy thriller focused on Mater. Um, that's the other thing they get right with this movie. Mater is not a main character. Yeah, he he really he pops up about as much as Jar Jar Binks in Episode Three. So. Yeah, yeah, but but he doesn't accidentally. Um, convince everyone else to be fascists. Yeah. Which is True. good also. True. Unlike Jar Jar Binks in episode three. <laughs> um, yeah, so so a lot less uh, Legger the Cable Guy, a lot more uh, main characters. Yeah. Sa Sally was around more. I really like that. I, I, Sally and Lightning's relationship is actually a thing yeah. again. Um, Love you. That was great. Hey, Stinky. I mean, Stickers. Yeah, it's good. Um, so, uh, I actually recommend this movie just mm -hmm. straight out as a spoiler-free. But now, let's get into spoilers. Spoilers? Spoilers. What the hell happened to Doc Hudson? Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, man. So, somewhere between the end of 2 and the start of 3, which I think it's because the actor passed away. Did he? I can't remember. Or they didn't get him back for this movie, but Doc Hudson is gone, which implies dead, which is weird in the Cars universe. Yeah. Particularly because there's a lot of Cars that are blatantly way older than him around. Exactly, um, and like, and we've seen Cars, like, what, blow up now? Yeah. So, what the You heck? can have some, I mean, Cars can die. Straight up, they can die, because... Bruce Campbell died. They, they murdered Bruce Campbell yeah. and quite a few other cars in that that's, in Cars 2. Yeah, that's true. Um, but anyway, maybe you know. Doc, maybe Doc succumbed to uh, the, uh, the new a, fuel. He had an engine condition. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, Doc Hudson's gone. They make that point of that. But anyway, Lightning's had a good career and he's having this like friendly rivalry with some other racers that are implied to be around his age including a guy who's taken over racing for Dynaco and some other guy the other guy for uh, that green the green car that the green car is retired from, he's retired from and one he's, he's and a dickhead he's a, an announcer he's, uh, he's on TV, TV now host. and still tearing ter telling terrible jokes and, and talking about how much better than lightning he is yeah um, but Anyway, uh, Lightning has a race where the new guy shows up, the guy they've been building up Jackson store. Young up and carrots! And, uh... Taking it in James! He just, yeah, and Lightning pushes himself too hard to try and beat Storm after Storm goes on, like, a four-race win streak. Oh, let's not, let's not skip ahead. This new car shows up and beats the pants off him. And then all of a sudden, everybody, every company out there is looking to replace these old cars with, right, that's a with big a new thing. thing. That's becoming the thing. And, and, so, and then Lightning's got to race against nothing but new cars. By the end, it's racing it. basically by himself yeah. against nothing but new cars. He pushes himself too hard and he wipes out. And he wipes out and basically has a crash that's the crash from the trailer. This is literally every 80s and 90s like. It's the crash from the trailer film. and it's exactly as close it, and it, of course it's supposed to replicate Doc's crash because that's the whole point of the narrative actually yeah. of this movie so anyway Lightning gets better but he's being mopey yeah they make him go get back on his feet and he's like fine I've gotta, if I'm gonna beat the new guys I gotta race like the new guys and train like the new guys which fails we find out that Nathan Fillion has bought Rusty's 
yeah. and created this new fancy racing facility. All in honor of Lightning Lightning's McQueen and, legacy. and uh, the Hudson. Yeah, and Doc Hudson. There's a museum in the front and all this. Because he's the biggest fan ever. Oh, totes. Um, <laughs> and then it goes, and Lightning does the modern training with the other important new character, Cruz Ramirez. Yeah. And it's not working. And he's like, what if I go do this thing? And not so subtly, it's pretty blatant that Lightning's not really training himself throughout most of his training montage. Yeah. He's actually training Cruz the way Doc trained him. And it's kind of playing with that whole, in order to uh, truly become a master, you have to train someone else kind of thing. Yeah. And they really play with that to the point where it's kind of obvious. The the teacher. It's kind of obvious that the student's going to become the teacher and pass the torch way before the characters figure it out. Yeah. Like... McQueen makes this whole deal with, with Sterling, Nathan Fillion's character. Yeah. It's like that whole deal with the devil. I want one last race to prove I'm good. And, and if he wins, he gets to keep racing. Yeah. Retire so. on his own terms instead yeah. of be forcibly retired. But, yeah. And, and, and so he goes out on this whole tour of training and does demo rally racing. The demolition derby is amazing. That is the best part of that the That is movie. the best part of the this crazy movie. The crazy eight. What was the name of the school bus? Miss Fritter. Miss Fritter. <laughs> that that was the best part. Of Thunder it. Hollow. Crazy eight race. That was oh that demolition derby was amazing. One of the demolition derby cars, I believe, was two front ends of cars. It was stuck together, and he had a face on the back who he was did. like yelling and crazy. Oh, it was so good. And there's a great gag. There's some great gags in there, including this amazing one. Where this dude gets hit and he can't go, then someone else hits him, he keeps driving because he can suddenly drive straight again, only to get hit again. Yeah, he starts he's to like, race like triple, and then finally somebody hits him and drives his drivetrain straight, and then he's all happy until he gets T-boned and he's back <laughs> Just, to being a cripple. He gets bent the opposite direction. It was amazing. It's that old gag. I can finally see. I'm blind again. <laughs> no. My glasses. Yeah. Oh, it was great, though. It's really fun. Um, yeah. There's a lot of really fun moments in this movie like that. Yeah, there's um, like a child level twist at the end. Yeah, I mean it's a little like it's predictable. It for was adults. really predictable. Like in the point where I kind of expected Lightning to have the epiphany before the race. That's what I thought was gonna happen. I expected him to have it before the race, but I get him doing it in the middle of the race so that they could add that dramatic moment. Yeah. I love the whole Ramon, you have your paint with you, right? It's like, this is the best I could do in five minutes. And it's like this amazing, cool paint job. Yeah, it's just like fade fade from yellow to red. I mean, it makes sense because it's, it's Ramon. It's Ramon. Um, and then uh, Nathan Fillion's all like, what? No, don't do this. You can't let her. She's just a trainer. And then She's no racer. Yeah, it's like Sterling's like that. And all like the other that. cars are like, she's not a racer. Yeah. Turns out. She's a racer. She's a racer. She's a badass racer. And not just that. After she wins, I mean, Jackson Storm doesn't get redeemed because he's a jerk. That's his he's whole character arc. Yeah. His character arc is he's lightning before lightning got sent to Radiator Springs, but worse. Yeah. And he doesn't get to get redeemed, which is kind of weird. Usually this franchise tries to make characters get knocked down a peg and then learn to not suck. Or at least learn their lesson, you know? <laughs> yeah. He didn't yet, at least. You know they're going to make a Cars 4. This franchise prints money, so... Yeah, there will be a Cars 4 probably with Ramirez, Cruz. Yeah, uh, with with Cruz as the main character, Lightning as the si- backup side trainer character. Be the, the coach. Yeah, coach in her... And who knows? Maybe the, some other crazy. The fabulous thing Lightning McQueen. The yeah. fabulous Lightning McQueen. That was like the coolest fabulous. moment. So the very end of the movie, uh, Tex, the guy who owns Dynaco, is like, "Hey, uh, Sterling, let me talk to you, billionaire to billionaire." Because Sterling's being still a tool. Um, yeah, he, and, like he actually uh, had two f- true blue to the end bad guys. Yeah, who were just kind of, and they weren't really like. They're well. They're they're antagonists, yeah, but they, they never they, learn anything, and they yeah. never grow. They're just there to be antagonists. Yeah. And uh, but anyway, he by we find out in a and in, uh, in the epilogue that uh, Cruz has been hired by Dinoco because she quit working for Rusty's, 
and then Rusty's got bought out <laughs> by Dynaco. Um, and uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was a good ending. It's I really, really like the I like the whole Lightning's made himself a new getup. That's a tribute to Doc. Uh, that's gonna sell some sweet merch. I, I might have to buy a the fabulous Lightning McQueen T-shirt just because it's so obnoxiously stupid. <laughs> I know. I'm still trying to get my hands on one of those. Uh, anyone can be a father. Oh yeah, the with, from a uh, from Guardians, uh, Guardians too. The, yeah. daddy, the daddy shirt. Yeah. I want that daddy shirt. I want the I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. No, I want the daddy shirt. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, overall, it's a good movie. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah, it's good, good, clean, I, family fun. I recommend seeing it. If you liked Cars 1, were upset by Cars 2, or generally trust Pixar, it's worth seeing. It's no cursing. Because it's great for family night. <laughs> no cursing. This is family night. I like how during that they then do a cursing joke where a guy, like, goes and very blatantly swears and he honks his horn so you can't hear him. It's kind of awesome. It's a very SpongeBob feeling, yeah, actually. Yeah, this is really good. Um, so, yeah, check it out. Yep. Uh, we saw a movie. Yeah. <laughs> there you go.